Some people are great drummers. Some people are great guitarists. Dave is both. And then some people are great musicians and some people are great people. And he's both again. He is the bringer of the thunder. He's on Mount Rockmore. I'm really proud to have Dave as my friend. Long may it continue. I once made a t-shirt that said, I love Dave Grohl. He's probably one of the most influential musicians of the last 20 years. I think nobody would disagree with that. He's an icon. Dave is a, is a natural, he's a natural asshole. What's incredible with Dave is that, you know, he was part of a movement. He changed music. I first became aware of Dave in Nirvana. The thing I noticed is that there was this maniac at the back just thrashing for whatever his life was worth at the time. There was a hell of a noise and he seemed to drive the whole band. When he sits down, it's almost like sitting in his living room. He, he becomes the drums. Oh man, he's one of the best drummers I ever saw, you know, in my life, really. I'll drink to that. Because of the way he drums, it's all very physical. You can't miss him, and I like that. I love playing live with Dave. It's fun because you just sort of forget that everyone else is there. And you turn around, you see that big old grin and a bunch of hair flying around, and you sort of feel like you're about to pull a robbery with some of the best bank robbers in the world. Playing live on stage with him is very, very exciting. I mean, he's bloody loud, but he's, it's really good fun. Just to be six feet from him while he's playing is goosebumps. I think your Godlike Genius Award is very fitting because that's what I felt. I felt like I was in the heavens with Zeus, the, the god of gods, playing fucking drums. I met Dave Grohl at the Liverpool Sound Show and I asked him if he wanted to come and sit in with us uh, for a treat for the fans. We had a great time. The crowd loved him coming on, and he played great. Dave is a natural frontman. Now he's the best there is in the business, as far as I'm concerned. I can't think of anybody in rock and roll who's any better at controlling 80,000 people. I don't know a frontman as ferocious and giving and exciting as him on stage. Dave Grohl, honestly, in my opinion, is one of the greatest songwriters and greatest performers of all time. If you take that scream in Monkey Wrench, I would say that is a pretty good noise that I would associate with Dave Grohl. Having Dave on our album was a lot like touching God's balls. He can be humble, and that's part of his genius. If he ever wanted to, he could very easily have a second career in the comedic acting realm. A lot of nice people in rock, but he's the nicest. Sometimes I get a bit of nerve by niceness because you think someone's got an agenda, but I don't think he's got an agenda. And if he has, it's, uh, he's playing a long game with it. Dave's a real craftsman. You know, he's not the tortured genius. He's like a really a, a craftsman, you know? Whether it's playing drums or being a lead singer or, or producing. He just picks things up really easily. Like, uh, started playing piano uh, a couple of albums back, and like two months later, he's playing on the record. He's really, he's the best at whatever he's focusing on at that moment. The guy is a genius, and he deserves this. Yeah, he plays drums like John Bonham, plays rhythm guitar like Pete Townsend, and he writes these amazing, great, great pop songs, you know? Fucking asshole, huh? <laughs> How dare you be so good? It's a force of nature, really. Just thank God it's going to someone who does not have their head up their ass. What are you talking about? <laughs> talking about how great you are. Oh, really? Oh. What'd you say? <laughs> Oh, oh God, God, he's really? genius. See, always watching, the always genius. fucking watching! See, told you. <laughs>